The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> the police in Chicago played a part in the violence. Uh, she spoke on a time where the police officers dropped KI off, off in O Block, uh, for, you know, just for no apparent reason. Um, if anybody know, that's her ops, and pretty much she said she had to run home. She was also speaking about how A and E did a documentary on her daughter and didn't ask her to be a part of it, but they asked King Vaughn to be in it. Uh, let's jump straight into it. Let me give a second for people to jump in. But yeah, uh, KM Mom uh, sat down for her first ever uh, interview. She did it with DJ UTV, man. DJ UTV, man, he, 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 he looking like the best interviewer out of the rack, man. You know, he get all the classic good interviews. And uh, this one, I got to give it to him. He did a good one. But K.I. Mom was speaking on, you know, uh, she was speaking on K.I. as a kid, you know, how she grew up and stuff like that. Uh, she was also speaking like, you know, um, how K.I. was a loving, a caring person. She also was speaking about her twin brother, G.I. Um, but one of the things that stuck out, she said that, you know, she felt like it's, she felt like the police played a part in her daughter's death. Uh, she felt like it's, it's a conspiracy around her daughter's death. Uh, for two reasons. The first one being that she say that it's plenty of times that Chicago police officers would drop somebody off in a rival neighborhood. Um, and you got to think if you in a police car, what's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to make sure you ain't got no weapons. But uh, she was saying she could just remember a time where the police was just doing bogus stuff, you know, like drop, they dropped her off in O-Block. Now, if anybody know, she from 63rd. So if she gets seen in O-Block, she could, that girl could have lost her life, you know, but at the end of the day, that's how the police is, you know, they, they play mind games with you, you know, um, and also another thing that I kind of find out is, is kind of crazy and funny is how is A&E going to do a documentary on somebody, but then you don't reach out to the family. Do you get what I'm saying? You reach out to friends, but you don't reach out to the family. You get what I'm saying? If you're going to make a documentary about K.I., why wouldn't you want to talk to her mom or her twin brother, the people that, that actually know her? You get what I'm saying? But a and &E, I felt like they did some controversy stuff by asking King Von to be a part of it. Now, it was rumored for the longest that he had something to do with, with the K.I. hit. But um, after, you know, the FBG duck trial is public document, you know, the feds released the information. Uh, Butter also confirmed it. Uh, he was alleged was there. So it's no secret now, you know, and she even also admitted it too, you know. She wasn't trying to name drop King Von, but she did say the person that the feds said did it actually did do it. Um, she also was saying that, you know, she she feel like it's a sense of relief, like, okay, the world know it now, we can move past and move forward. But that's crazy to think that A&E would do a documentary and not reach out to the mom. You get what I'm saying? Like, how is you going to talk about somebody's child, but then don't? don't bring them involved and bring them on board. You know, that's why sometimes these documentaries be a little bit off. You know, a lot of the information don't be accurate because of stuff like that, you know? But then you don't ask her family and her friends or you don't ask 63rd or FBG, none of them to be a part of it, but you go ask King Von and you go shoot a scene at 63rd. And as you can see, what was King Von doing? More so gloating. Uh, yeah, you know, I was in love with K.I. and all of that. Her mom's also talked about that. You know, she said that part made her mad because it's like, you don't want me involved in it, but yet you go get a person that was rumored to do it and he's antagonizing me in the other side by saying, oh yeah, I was in love with K.I. Just think about it. I mean, you was in love with a stud. This, this is exactly what her mom was saying. You know, that's why y'all got to go watch that DJ UTV with, with K.I. mom. You know, um... You could tell she she was a hurt mom. Uh, you could tell, but you know she got to stay strong for the rest of her kids. You could tell she had good days and then she had bad days. But just the fact that she got on the internet and shared her story, she didn't blast King Von. She didn't blast King Von Mon. She didn't blast nobody from the other side. You know she conducted herself like a like a woman. You know, um, she didn't mention any names that let you know she know what's going on in the streets. You know, anybody that get on these interviews and, you know, and get to actually naming people, that lets you know they ain't weary to what's going on in the streets. You know, she didn't name drop anybody, but you knew who she was talking about. 
She didn't mention King Von being part of the documentary, but we know that's who it was. You get what I'm saying? But she 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 part of the street, so she know what's going on. She know what not to say and what to say, you know. But I got to get that woman her credit because a lot of women they lose their kids, man, and they don't they don't you know they don't stand up, they don't get justice, you know they don't they 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 don't they don't go on camera, they don't do nothing. I feel like Mama Duck was the first one to lose her son, man, and she just started a a, a campaign of just like. I'm about to make my son proud campaign, like, you know what I'm saying? So I give her credit, man, because you could tell during the interview by her having glasses on, you could tell, you know, a couple scenes, you know, it got touchy and got sentimental, you know. But the part that she made her mad, like she said, man, she knows what come with the streets, man. So she she she's more so like K.I. lost her life to the streets, but K.I. did dirt, too. And any real mothers or any real fathers that's out there and you know your kids in the streets, you got to accept what come with it. Because once you go in those streets, baby, that's a totally different ball game. Mama can't say you no more, you know? But like I say, you know, she didn't say that her child was perfect, you know? But she also said, like I say, the only thing that she felt was wrong and they did too much was having King Von part of the A&M documentary about K.I., but not having her family. That's what really was like the bad thing that she really said about uh, King Von and them. Uh, you know, she also wished his mother and his kids the best. You know, this lady didn't look like she had no hatred or no ill will in her heart towards Vaughn and them, you know? Because like I say, she know what her daughter signed up for. She know what K.I. was out here doing. She know what K.I. was accused of doing. She 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 know what's going on, you know? It, it's sad that, you know, some mothers and fathers is cool with their kids being out there, but at some point is what can you do? You know, sometimes you, you're going to be talking to a brick wall. Sometimes you're going to talk yourself to you purple in the face, you know? But... Uh, my condolences go out to uh, K.I. mom, her brother, and all her loved ones, you know, her younger siblings. Uh, you know, um, uh, this is the sad part about being in the game and being in the streets, you know, because whatever happened to you, it happened to your family. If you get 30 years, your family gets sentenced to 30 years. If you lose your life early, your parents lose their life early, you know, it all go as one, you know. But uh, y'all go check out that DJ UTV interview. Uh, he just interviewed K.I. mom. Uh, she pretty much would talk about a time that uh, uh, the, the cops dropped K.I. KI off in Old Block when they knew she was beefing with Old Block uh, after they made sure she ain't had no weapon on her. You know, she said that uh, she didn't like the fact that A&E did a documentary on her daughter and didn't ask her to be a part of it, but asked King Vaughn to be a part of it. She also spoke on uh, confirming that King Vaughn was the uh king von was the one that that did the hit she also confirmed that she let the homicide detectives know that von was responsible uh earlier in the beginning but y'all go check that lady out man she don't look like she had a hatred bone in her heart man you know it seemed like you know a a, a, a hurt woman that got to continue with her life for the for her other kids but it's your boy man these media man i just wanted to go live with y'all man and talk about that subject man um I might go live a little bit later, um, but it's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, positivity, network, growth. Let's say D's. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>